millions of people have parrots. That's a family name that includes all kinds of birds, from parakeets to macaws to Amazons. But many owners don't understand bird behavior. As we showed you once before, these creatures can be entertaining and talkative, but they can also be, well, flighty and temperamental. What does their behavior mean? Perry Peltz has some insights into the mind of your bird. They can't dance. But some of them can really sing. And talk. Are you okay? It is this amazing ability to communicate with us in our own language, along with spectacular beauty that make parrots so extraordinary. Some say their keen intelligence and ability to bond to humans are the reasons Americans keep more than 15 million parrots as pets. And according to experts, parrots can be just as smart as your two to three year old child. I'm a smart bird. But just as your toddler goes through the terrible yeah. twos, no bite. So can parrots. In fact, parrot behavior can be a constant source of frustration for many parrot owners. Lane Dicker is a popular lecturer on the bird seminar circuit. He is staff avian behaviorist at Wilshire Animal Hospital in Santa Monica. You have to be willing to learn what you need to know about parrots because they're not like goldfish, they're not like dogs, they're not like cats. They're wonderful, they ain't easy. I don't want to put your job down. But what's the big deal, Lane? They sound like really easy animals to have. They don't bark. You don't have to take them out for a walk. I mean, what's the big deal? You throw up a little bit of seed at them. They don't bark, but they scream. <laughs> they don't really need to be taken out for a walk, but they need full spectrum light for at least four hours a day. You don't throw them a handful of seed. They need fresh vegetables every day, fresh water every time it gets soiled. Why is owning a parrot so different than having a pet dog or cat? You see, dogs and cats have been bred for thousands of years to be companion animals. Most parrots have been bred for less than 100 years, so that means parrots bring their own natural instincts into your home. Parrots in the wild live in flocks, so your pet parrot considers you his flock member. He expects to eat with you and interact with you most of the day. When you don't give him the attention he expects, he may start demanding it by acting out or screaming. Birds can also be destructive. Parrots, especially macaws, will chew anything in their path. What about biting? Parrots don't bite each other in the wild, but as pets, parrots can bite when they feel threatened or when they don't want your fingers in their cage or even when they want your undivided attention. With all of the behavior problems, why not just punish a bird? If I can tell any parrot owner something about their parrot, it would be make them feel safe and secure. I hear about hitting, squirting with water, screaming at, anything that makes a parrot feel insecure will break down the level of trust he has with you. And unless a parrot trusts you, all the negative behaviors are just going to get worse. You have to do everything with a parrot in a loving, supportive way. Yes, you're so good. Yes. For the past 20 years, Ruth Hanessian has been a bird breeder and pet store owner in Rockville, Maryland. She's now written a book called Birds on the Couch, the bird shrink's guide to keeping Polly from going crackers and you out of the cuckoo's nest. If you could put a little red warning label on each parrot cage, what would it say? I am a bird. I have my own thoughts. I have my own way of expressing myself. I'm verbal. I will make noise. I will see what's going on in your household and, and have an opinion about it. Tarzan, stop it. You behave yourself. I will be in charge of your life if you let me be. You write, will you freak out if Polly screams during dinner parties? What if she learns to mimic your love-making cries and repeats them when your mother-in-law comes for a visit? Can't be. Oh, can be. If you decide to get a bird, you have to watch what you say around it. <laughs> because they will pick up the things that you really don't want them to say. 
Oh, spot. Now we're, we're pushing it on the next one. Birds can be codependents. <laughs> what are we talking about here? They get very involved with you, and they get very upset when you're not there. It's like having a two-year-old child for the rest of your life. And by the way, the rest of their lives can be a very long time. If taken care of properly, the bigger birds can live up to 100 years. And that's just fine with Connie Pavlinak. She and her husband, Gary, are the proud parents of three birds. And Connie makes sure all of her birds' needs are taken care of. First, their meals. Connie spends at least an hour and a half each day chopping fruits and vegetables for the older birds, then mixing formula for the baby, making sure it's not too hot and hand feeding him. Then another hour and a half sweeping floors and scrubbing and cleaning cages. And twice a week there are the showers, followed by a fluff drive. And they have emotional needs. Hi. Hi. They need to be talked to. Um, they need to be held. Um, they need to be stimulated. So if we talk to them, we entertain them with toys. Bonnie Kank runs the Parrot Education and Adoption Center in San Diego. In the last two years, she has taken in more than 100 unwanted birds, including this conure whose owner couldn't tolerate her constant screaming and kept her in a covered cage in a dark room for six years. You see, birds become quiet in the dark. With nothing to do and nothing to see, little Audrey turned on herself and started plucking out her own feathers. It's really very, very sad that people just don't, they don't understand what they're getting into when they get, when they get a bird. Conyers are relatively noisy birds. How often, Bonnie, do you see a problem result because of an impulse purchase? Daily. That's how we end up with most of our birds. Parrots are the worst impulse purchase in the world, and they're so frequently purchased on impulse because they're so beautiful and they're so endearing in pet stores. You need to do your homework before buying a parrot. They are very, very, very smart. Uh, they have very, very long memories. They're amazing animals. Good night. Good night, bird. Good night.